Australia has matched its hottest day on record after a remote coastal town reported temperatures of 50.7 degrees Celsius. The temperature in Onslow in Western Australia on Thursday equaled a record set 60 years ago in South Australia. Well, to tell us more about what this means for the country is Leslie Hughes, a professor in biology at the Macquarie University in Sydney and one of the founding members of the Australian think tank, the Climate Council. It's wonderful to have you on the program, Professor. Just to get a sense from you on the backdrop of all of this, the hottest ever recorded temperature, what are the reasons behind this? Well, the world is in a long-term global warming trend. And while average temperatures are often what is recorded, what a long-term trend also means is that the incidence of extreme events like hottest ever records um, are also inevitable. And that's what we're seeing in Western Australia at the moment. And what are the conditions there right now? And how are people coping with these sort of temperatures? Well, I imagine that virtually everybody is inside in air conditioning if they have it. Um, so if you're inside in air conditioning, I guess you can, you can sit it out because being outside in 50 plus degrees is extremely dangerous to human health. But of course, not everybody can afford air conditioning or have access to air conditioning. I saw an article this morning indicating that the local jail um, doesn't have air conditioning, so the inmates will be suffering a great deal. So once again, these sorts of extreme, extreme climatic events do um, uh, bring home the fact that some of the most vulnerable people in our society are also the most vulnerable to climate change. Absolutely, Leslie, and that's the condition for people. I know that there's also been an impact on wildlife and animals in that area. That's right. So um, we're seeing impacts of heat waves all over Australia over the last decade or so. Particularly birds and flying foxes are, are very, very vulnerable. Um, even those birds that normally live in really hot and arid climates can suffer mass mortality um, when conditions get to be so extreme, especially if they don't have access to, to ready supplies of water. So heat waves and other sorts of climatic extremes are driving a lot of ecosystem change in Australia, not just in Western Australia, but um, on places like our Great Barrier Reef, which has seen unprecedented bleaching events over the last six years. Professor Leslie Hughes, thank you so much for joining us on Newsday. Well, 